You are in for a treat today because we are making a very unique and absolutely incredible dessert recipe. We're gonna be making Oreo stuffed egg rolls. It's gonna be so fun, so keep on watching and we're gonna go through it together. Hey everyone, my name is Alexandria and this is The Foreign Fork where we are cooking one meal from every country in the world. And today we're doing something a little bit unique. It's not necessarily from a country, but we are making a delicious dessert egg roll recipe. So we have an egg roll wrapper and then we're putting a cream cheese filling and Oreos in there. We're gonna fry it up and it tastes just like a fried Oreo with a cheesecake mixture. You gotta try it to know what I'm talking about, but it's so good. So let's start. The first thing that you're gonna need is one cup of powdered sugar, a half cup of sweetened condensed milk, and eight ounces of cream cheese that's been softened. I left it out for a couple of hours so that it could come to room temperature. Then we're gonna use an electric hand mixer and just beat it all together. All right, set that aside for a minute and open up a gallon bag. And in there, we're gonna pour one cup of mini Oreos. They're not the full size Oreos, they're just little guys. If you wanna use full size Oreos, you can. I just think it's easier to crush the mini ones. So you put that in a gallon size or a quart size bag. So you can use a meat tenderizer or a rolling pin to crush it up. You don't want it to be like super fine crumbs like sand, like you would make like a, a cookie crust from. You want it to be like pieces, but just smaller pieces of Oreos. All right, so it's time to roll the egg rolls. So you're gonna take traditional egg roll wrappers, the same egg roll wrappers that we used to make this Chinese egg roll recipe. You're gonna be using that for dessert too. So you can find this at any Asian grocery store. Um, it's normally in the frozen section. First thing that you're gonna need to do is put the egg roll wrapper in a diamond shape with one end pointing out away from you and one point end pointing up towards your belly. You're gonna take a spoon and scoop some of this cheesecake mixture right in the center. I call it cheesecake mixture, but it's not really cheesecake. Now you have your crushed up Oreos and you're just gonna sprinkle a couple of those on top of the cheesecake mixture. So you're gonna roll up one of the corners, fold in both of the side corners and continue rolling. And then when you get to this last corner, that's where our egg wash is gonna come in. So I have one egg cracked in this little bowl. I'm gonna whisk it up with a fork. And then as I'm rolling the egg rolls, I'm just gonna dip my thumb in the egg, put a little bit of the egg on the corner of the roll and then continue rolling. And that's gonna hold the edge in place. This should make about 15 Oreo egg rolls, but if you go a little heavy handed on the Oreos like I tend to, you might need a cup and a half or maybe even two cups of crushed Oreos. All that's left to do is fry them. So I have enough oil in here that it'll cover about maybe a half of the egg roll in a cast iron skillet. I've been heating it over medium high heat. And now I'm gonna put one of my egg rolls in there. Everything on the inside's already cooked, so we don't need to worry about the inside cooking. We just need to cook it long enough that the outside starts to brown and bubble, and then we'll know it's ready. One of my very, very favorite desserts is fried Oreos. I had them one time at a Michigan fair and it was absolutely delicious. And so I really love this recipe because it emulates the taste of a fried Oreo, which means it is like, so good, so good. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you need written instructions for the recipe, you can find it in the description of this video. And then also make sure to check out some of the other flavors of egg roll desserts that I have on my blog. I'll put the link to those in the description of the video too. I have banana split, s'mores, and blueberry cheesecake flavors. So there's lots of fun things to experiment with. You can also check out some of the other videos on my channel with delicious recipes from all around the world. Don't forget to put some culture in your kitchen this week and I will see you next week. Bye.